was your reading, group number one. If you felt the love and would like to share the love, again, I do have a link for donations in my description. If you would like, like, subscribe, and to leave some comments letting me know if this was relevant, if it was not, what you feel, what you think. Blue Lewis Agate, group numero uno. Group number two, feel free if you would like to listen to the reading of group number one. It might be relevant to you, might kind of describe the past for you, might describe your future. Who knows? Um, you know, could be a, a numerous amount of things. So, yeah, allow yourself to listen to it if you care to. But we'll just go ahead if you'd like to just listen to yours. So group number two, we'll start with this card. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Put that right up there. We've got safe home. I cast the circle round about. Safety now is beyond doubt. So knowing that you're safe. You might be able to find home within someone. Um, might be something happening around full moon time. Reverence. Feel like finding a sense of peace. There's a divine union happening and coming your way. Spiritual devotion, inner silence. This union could also be between you and spirit, but also between you and a partner. I feel like someone possibly new coming forward. Someone that feels super familiar. Um, maybe possibly someone that you have known but haven't really gotten to know just maybe a acquaintance be gentle with yourself i feel like there's some inner child healing happening too so as you flow through these changes continue to follow this advice call i don't know why my voice was cracking like a adolescent but honestly call Maybe you need to make a call, maybe you need to reach out to someone, and maybe you're following your calling is by, you know, making that call, reaching out, doing what you have to do. Maybe you will receive a call. Happiness is your birthright. If you feel the calling to do something different, remembering that happiness is your birthright. If you need to make that change, do it. Um, so that you can release what you need to release so that once this full moon comes up again, um, I need to check a moon calendar to see, but then you will fully be able to accept some blessings that are making their way into your life and success. So this is a really, really good reading. I feel like group number one had a lot of healing that was going on. And I feel like for you guys, group number two, you can listen to that reading. And I feel like it might more so pertain to your past rather than your future. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of re reading, a lot of healing that you guys have done. So... Let us go ahead, jump into it, and see what's going on. So, I feel like a lot of what you might have been experiencing externally, if you might have gone through a lot of just maybe some turmoil or, you know, experiencing things with people who have a lot of drama going on, I feel like you're finally in this position where that's just kind of dissolved. It's like you're recognizing what stays and what goes and what you want to continue investing your energy in and what you no longer want to invest your energy in. Um, but also recognizing how your internal world is, ex you know, externally affecting you. Um, so again, in the past, if there might have been a lot of drama going on, there might have been a lot of uncertainty with yourself, just period. So, you know, things might be settling down. You might have been doing more meditation, more, um, more solitude, more time with yourself, more uh, energetic baths and releasing, cord removal, all of those things. I don't know if I said breath work, but maybe that too. And as a result of all of that, you're really coming to a place of 
space, oh my goodness, of peace within yourself in a place where you're really able to come back to center, kind of like a namaste moment at the end of a yoga session, just really vibing in that energy before you flow back out into the real world. And you're able to experience the world with such different eyes, with a lot happier eyes, hopefully, just because of the you know, energy that's happening within your internal world now. Now that you've ended your yoga class, you're feeling a lot better. A lot more ready to take on anything instead of feeling a little bit, you know, all over the place. But uh, so many of these cards here are, you know, you're feeling this experience of just deep peace and surrender. And um, like I was speaking about with inner child healing, I feel like with this card specifically, um, you see that and it's like where you're, you've experienced so much healing where you've allowed to find a deep sense of inner happiness and communicate with your inner child to encourage yourself to become more courageous and um, have a stronger sense of confidence. But also it's like you've partnered with your inner child um, as you've gone through your healing and it's really benefited you, allowing you to release any feelings of guilt um, that you've might have felt and allowing you to really have a sense of everlasting peace basically um, yeah the bottom of this card Archangel Michael please guide me in treating myself with gentle nurturing love in everything I think speak and do so there we go again with our internal condition affecting our external and you know those different things um, help me know that I deserve this com compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. So again, if you've had to release something or anything like that, knowing that you are completely fine, being gentle with yourself, knowing that it is completely okay what you had to do. <clears throat> and our last uh, card here was success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor, integrity. So knowing that what's yours is yours and what belongs to you is here and ready for you always. And you never have to, you know, force it or feel like it deserves all this time and energy. And, you know, you never have to sit down and think about it super hard. Like, it's not going to have to be that difficult. But also, did you guys see that weird things like that have been happening in my house? Literally, the heat turned on last night. My brother didn't turn it on. I didn't turn it on. We actually turned off the air conditioning earlier in the day. So it was very, very weird, very random. But yeah, so for you guys, group number two, if you're single, whew, I'm feeling like if you need to make a call, make the call. If you need to make a call on something, make a call. Um, but I feel like you also might receive a call and might connect with someone and find a sense of peace with them. And I feel like, you know, I've been feeling a lot recently of this life, life partner energy. And I feel like that might be stepping forward for you guys. Um, so for the singles, if you're looking forward toward that, <laughs> that may be coming towards you. Um, for those that are coupled, I feel like, um, hmm. I feel like you guys had to make a transition and maybe cut some things out that were, um, you know, maybe accepting offers that you could have accepted offers that were better aligned with you. And I feel like you're realizing that and allowing that to happen for yourself. So, um, you know, you're moving forward and allowing yourself to do that um, positively and might be receiving a communication with a earth sign or have a communication with the earth sign or just someone who's very grounded very earthy um that is very much of the world they identify with many different people they're very cultured they like many different types of music many different types of food um they're very open-minded and um what would you call it just like very worldly they're just very aware um Whereas, you know, we might have dealt with some people that were a bit more um, stubborn and, and stuck in their ways and not very willing to move and shift and change and adventure and explore. Um, but I feel like whoever you might meet futuristically um, or whoever you might be friends or work with, um, they might inspire you. Uh, they might be have this 
<laughs> they might be, they might have this energy of a person who is very just earthy, down to earth, fun, exciting, um, but also someone very deep that you can deep, have deep conversations with and just kind of be still when you don't want to go on a adventure, you guys are able to just chill out and be with yourselves and vibe. Um, and if that's in a work respect, you know, um, you're able to be very business minded, but also at the same time, you're able to connect on a lot of other things, um, making the business aspect so much stronger because, um, you're able to identify personally having a personal relationship just you know makes things so much easier uh, let's see we'll do one more card for you guys those who are coupled because i know i've jumped back and forth yeah you guys are maybe having to release something um something that you know just maybe didn't allow you the freedom and to what you know you needed to manifest physically in your life um you know noticing in areas where you might have accepting or been accepting nine cups instead of ten or accepting nine pentacles instead of all ten so allowing yourself to move towards something that has a stronger commitment waiting for you something if you are wanting to be married something that has a or you know if you're wanting to be in a lifetime partnership something that has that level of commitment so you know once you've released this thing and allowed yourself to kind of rework and do the self-love work necessary i feel like very strongly <clears throat> excuse me the commitment that you're looking for is coming forward in your lifetime partner is literally like in the vicinity so might be someone you know might not be but you'll feel a deep sense of familiarity and a deep connection just off jump when it does happen so our final card this goes with our eight of swords cut it out walk away allow yourself to know that you can surrender to knowing that um you can easily untie yourself you know if you're tied to a tree you're tied loosely you can let the rope slide down your legs and just walk away you're not tied up to anything so if you need to leave something that isn't healthy for you and isn't allowing you to grow anymore go ahead and do so because again, like I said, this level of commitment, <clears throat> this thing that we've been waiting on or manifesting, um, you know, it's coming. So keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Keep your third eye open and be aware of what's to come. So that was for you guys, group number two. I hope you have a amazing day know that you can like subscribe and comment so let me know how this resonated remember that happiness is your birthright so do whatever makes you most happy and whatever is going to help you move forward towards your happiness and know that nothing will make you as happy as you will make yourself so we have to make those sacrifices those changes and make ourselves happy even in relationships or even as we are single moving into relationships so keep that in mind i will see you guys next time goodbye